Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another mod showcase and this time I'm going over a very awesome mod and this mod is called survivalism. Well, I assume that every one of you have played Minecraft for quite a while, quite a while right now. And um well, it's called survival, but it isn't really survival, is is it? It's just very easy to survive. Maybe the first night you are like, meh, whoa, a skeleton or a zombie. But if you've played this game for like more than five or days or so, it's like, oh, look, another skeleton. It isn't that hard to survive on Minecraft. It's actually a very easy game. Well, this mod actually um, returned some of the uh, survivalism in this game because it adds um, these thingies right here, you can already see it in the GUI, in the left button corner um, you can see three new things, the lightning bolts, water drops and apples and at the left top you see uh, three hearts and I will uh, tell you what they are right now um, starting with the left button thingies uh, the blow, the things that are below there, they are, uh, the apples that's f that stands for the food um, you will need to eat. If you don't eat, you will die. Which is very realistic-ish. So, um, yeah, I do that just like normal uh, stuff. You can just get cooked pork chops and you can eat them. That will also replenish your energy, by the way. Um, I'll just eat this one, as you can see, and uh, it will give you more apples so you can live on. If any of these three uh, if either the water or the apples run out, you will start dying very quickly. Um, so, the thing above it, um, water drops. You will need to drink. Um, and how do you do that? Because, well, you already knew you could eat food in Minecraft. But I've never really seen uh, anyone actually like drink water or something before. Well, for doing that, the maker of this mod creator the uh, made a new item and you craft it like this you get your leather and we have that right here you just place uh, that and it will give you an uh, empty water skin when you've got that you just go to the water do the same as you would with um, a bucket right click on the water and it will fill and uh, when I right click it then you can uh, take several drinks you can already um, tell that the um, mod also gives out warning if your um, health if your food or water level starts running low it will give warning you need to drink now and stuff you can just when I start right clicking this filled water sack as you can see it will uh, make my water bar go up again until the water skin is empty and then you can just refill it again and until your bar is full and when it's full, full it's still, it'll say you are not thirsty so you can't drink anymore um, same goes with the food by the way um, it was I believe, I'm not sure even actually I'll just try I don't, uh, you can just eat food normally um, but yeah now for the lightning bolts that are above it, those are your energy um, your energy drains with everything you does do basically with when you jump it will uh, cost you more energy every time you swing your hand it will cost you energy um, restoring this uh, uh, is pretty easy though because when you're just standing still you're not moving it will automatically replenish so um, that's not too bad it's pretty easy and there are, uh, is another way you can replenish it um, by crafting this right here energy bar creating this will create three energy bars and you can just eat them and those will replenish both your energy as well as your food now for the three uh, hearts on the left top corner um, I already lost two of them but every time you die one heart will go away um, yeah if the three hearts hearts are both all three gone, you die. Um, your world will your world will get locked, and you're not able to get on it anymore. So it's just game over. 
Um, there's also a hardcore mode, and that will allow you that it actually after one, after the first time you die, um, your world will just be deleted. It's just gone. Um, there is a way to get around this though, because you can create this right here. Uh, let's see. Let's get some netherrack. Uh, like this get some soul sand? no I'm not sure actually is it soul sand? you need to get some oh glowstone yeah let me get that sorry for that so get your netherrack right there get some glowstone to the sides and one redstone in the middle that will give you a soul shrine and this is basically like a furnace where you can make this thingy right here um, so I'm going to place it right now and that actually costs pretty much stuff you need uh, netherrack and lights and glowstone which are pretty hard ish to get well not really but it may take some time um, the next thing you want to do is create the orb itself and this is very pricey in Minecraft terms, you will need a uh, diamond. A lot of diamonds. Eight diamonds in total. And that is indeed very pricey. And you put one soul sand in the middle, that will give you an inactive soul orb. Now you think, yes, we're done. Finally. It cost a lot, but yeah, I, s I can now finally um, die without losing hearts. No because it's still inactive you need to activate it and you need to activate it in this soul shrine with redstone they think well let's do that um, just you place some redstone beneath here although the arrow does not move because it needs 64 redstone that is a whole stack of redstone dust to get activated so it will take a humongous time um, so yeah, and if you have this in your inventory, uh, you should be able to die without these hearts here going um, away. Um, yes, that's basically what this mod is all about. It can add some uh, more uh, difficulty to the game, uh, so it won't be too easy as Minecraft is at the moment. So uh, definitely go check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.